Hi guys, hope you're all well. We've had a request come in, so today I'm going to show you how to play the keyboard part of Memories by Maroon 5. Memories is in the key of B major. It's a four bar sequence with eight different chords that run through the whole song. The great thing is, once you've learned this four bar sequence, you'll be able to play the whole song all the way through. This song is perfect if you're a piano player and you want to work with a singer in an ensemble performance. If you wanted to, you could also learn the melody and turn it into a solo piano performance. In this video, we're just going to focus on the actual piano part for the song. Whilst this song came out in 2019, the chord sequence, believe it or not, is at least 300 years old because it's the exact same chord sequence used in Pachelbel's Canon in D. Pachelbel's Canon is in a different key, D major, but the chord sequence is identical. So let's get started. First, let's go through the basic chords involved. We've got B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. We've got F sharp major, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. We've got G sharp minor, G sharp, B, D sharp. We've got D sharp minor, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. We've got E major, E, G sharp, B. We've got another B major chord next, B, D sharp, F sharp. Then we've got another E major chord, E, G sharp, and B again. And then finally we go back to F sharp major again. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. The left hand root notes when simplified are the same as those chords. So you've got B, F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, E, B but played an octave lower, E, F sharp. You could quite happily just play this song using those basic chords. there's a little bit more to the Maroon 5 keyboard part than that. Firstly, not all of the chords are played in root position, and they don't all use the three note triad construction that we might be familiar with. The left hand always plays the root note, and the right hand fills out the rest of the chord. For example, the F sharp major chord, that's the second chord in the sequence, has the F sharp played in left hand with the A sharp and C sharp in the right hand. Several of the chords in the sequence also include crushed notes to add harmonic interest. For example, the first chord in the sequence has a crushed note in the right hand. So a crushed note is when we've got two notes played closely together. Like in the right hand part here, we play the C sharp and the D sharp close together. On its own it can sound quite strange, but in context it works really nicely. If you watch the live version of this song, linked below, you'll hear that the keyboard player makes much more of these crushed notes than in the original piano part. Unlike many things you'll learn on the piano, this song is best practiced hands together straight away because of the close harmonic relationship between the left and right hand parts. However, make sure that you practice it slowly first. So we start with B in the left hand, followed by F sharp, and then right hand 
you're going to grab these two keys here that's C sharp and D sharp and play them quickly one after another like this so we're forming our crushed note there and we're going to play them all smoothly but then when you get to the crushed note lift off nice and quickly so it's going to sound like this after that chord we go to our F sharp major chord so all you're going to do is grab the F sharp in your left hand and in the right hand we're going to play A sharp and C sharp and on this one we bring both hands in together so instead of having left and then right it's all in together and the right hand you're going to play that chord twice with a little bit more attack on the second chord bear in mind you're just going to hold the left hand note so we're not going to attack both there just the right and then we go to G sharp in the left hand followed by D sharp and the right hand you're going to pick up G sharp and B like that and again we're rolling through these start with left then the higher left hand note and then the right hand chord and on the chord again we're going to lift off quickly on that last chord and then we go down to our D sharp in left hand with D sharp and F sharp in the right hand and again we bring those in together with a little bit more attack on the second one in right hand like so after that we go to E in the bass hand so you're going to play E with little finger in left and then the right hand you're going to play an E an octave higher here and then you're going to play the crush note of F sharp and G sharp just here so we've got and again we're just going to kind of flick off after that crush note like so and then we go to B major again but it's lower down B this time so little finger on B and in the right hand you're going to pick up D sharp F sharp and again on that we're going to bring these in together with a little stab on the second one after the B major chord we go back to the E major again and play exactly the same as how we did earlier like that so that's E E G sharp F sharp crush and then we're going to the F sharp major chord to finish our sequence we have F sharp in the left hand and then in the right hand you're going to pick up the F sharp and A sharp and again this is the one where it's both together with the attack on the second one in right once you're happy with the chords individually it's time to put them together the best way to do this is to practice the chords in pairs because two chords make up one bar of music and the same rhythm is repeated in each bar so I'm going to practice these chords in pairs now with a pause in between. So I'm going to start with the B major going into the F sharp major. So bear in mind we need to quickly move down and you can practice this separate hands. Bear in mind it's probably easier to use fingers two and three for the C sharp D sharp so that then all you need to do is grab that thumb on the A sharp there so there's my first grouping now I'm going to go to the second group so a little bit more of a jump down here for the right hand so I've got to go from G sharp B to D sharp F sharp so you could always use fingers three and five for the first chord there and then you're ready for one and two on the next grouping like this so do whatever feels most comfortable for you now the next grouping of chords we've got E and B so and then the next grouping E and F sharp so practice those in groups of two before you start putting everything all together once you've got those chord changes let's put the whole thing together slowly If you're struggling with this then try playing the triads in the right hand with the root notes in the left hand
so you could jazz up the right hand chords by adding a rhythm like this. And then just simply add the bass notes below it. major is a difficult key to play in if you're new to it, but it's a great idea to practice in keys that are less familiar to you and to challenge yourself. If you're a beginner and this feels too difficult, then why not try the sequence in C major, which means you won't have to use any of the black keys. If you wanted to take this further as a piano player, you could try playing the root notes or even the chords in the left hand with the correct rhythm and then add in the melody in the right. It would be a great idea to practice the B major scale before attempting the melody of this song. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy practicing this song and I'll see you in the next video. Keep playing!